So in your ministry, you've started a uh, nonprofit and you have uh, planted a church in the West End. Do you have any five or ten year goals as far as what you want to do in ministry? Do you have any plans now? How about I, I kind of give you, I was, while I was in the shower, I was getting a vision like, this is what I envision. And if God wants to switch it completely up, he can completely do that. But yep. this is what I see. So uh, in the urban church, like hip hop is so prevalent, not just yep. in church, like hip hop culture. <coughs> hip hop runs the culture, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, clothes. Uh, yeah. That's what runs even sports, like everything people doing, like, oh, the hip hop artists have tattoos. Oh, we want tattoos. Oh, like that's where the culture goes. And so if you go to most churches in urban areas, what they do is uh, it's real traditional, like yeah. completely traditional. So like what I like to see, we're about $50,000 away. We're going to build our, our building in the West End. We're going to graffiti all the sides of the building. We're putting a music studio in there, okay. and it's going to be a seven day. It's going to be open seven days a week. The church, like you need help, you come there. We, if we can help you with rent, we'll help you. If we can help you, um, whatever, we're gonna have a little shower there. So when, yeah, a lot of homeless people come in who smell like urine and stuff, hop in the shower. Let's get you some clothes. Come to church with us today. Boom, we'll get them. We're not gonna look down on them. We'll have yeah. a studio, video production, art. And I want to see us, just like Kanye West's new album coming out today, uh, Jesus is Lord. Using art. Today? It comes out at 8 p.m. today. <coughs> I'll have uh, to check that out. Oh, you're going to have to mop to that. Dude, um, I, yeah. But that's what we got to do, man, is take back the art, man. Like, I, I watch little kids sing every single lyric to I'll shoot this person up. I'll sh I'm like watching six and eight-year-olds, and then they come to church and they'll pray. I wa it's powerful watching the kids yeah. do it, but like, we have to somehow give people an outlet for God other than just, I'm doing this art to make money, you know? And that's kind of what's happened. And so that's the, you asked me the vision, help see true believers established. And then God's put on my heart, um, possibly, I don't know, Atlanta or Los Angeles, really? to the next city that we're gonna build these culture center hubs throughout inner cities of America. Is it gonna be true believers in Christ? Or are you gonna come? Uh, it'd probably about? be, there's already other churches, man. So yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I would like to find out the churches that are already working, yeah. that want to reach their people, right? and they do it there. So it doesn't have to be like, I don't have to plant a church, we will revitalize a church too. Okay. So whatever God puts on my heart, the next city, the next place, yeah. but that's, what, that's where the next move um, is watching God's people take back music and art and video and uh so it's it's even deeper than just inside the four walls like what we've considered church if that makes sense that sounds really cool because yeah. you know i mean culture definitely is everything and i think we've just kind of tolerated basically like what we hear on a daily basis and we don't really give an outlet to anything else like to any other messages really so right that is cool did you ever think did, have i ever told you that I think you've mentioned something about it yeah. before, but like what you had talked to me about before was like y'all are basically just getting a building and y'all yeah. were working on that building. You kind of found the building already, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. And we just got this past week a $42,000 grant. Did I tell you about that? No, you didn't. So we just got a $42,000 grant for video, music, uh, photography, screen printer to like... Holy uh, cow. Yeah, and it's all going to be used for God. It's going to be the only music studio in the city for God. Like, you cannot pay to come in our studio. Our studio is going to be, like, God-honoring. And wow. it's going to be something that, like, Christian artists can actually do an outlet. Like, yeah. we're going to start dropping music all the time. Like, just just like all the secular... There's, there's like, at least 10 studios right now that are dropping music. That is some, some of it's good, some of it's disrespectful to women right. and stuff. So we want to see, you know... And it's something completely God honoring. Yeah, something God honoring, man. It might not all be religious and quotes, and it might just be uplifting. It might just be a story like mine. Like, I was a drug addict. God transformed me. Right. He set me free. I didn't go to rehab. And, or it might be like, I was shooting people in the streets. Now I'm loving people in the streets. I yeah. don't, it might, it'll be testimonies and it'll be scripture. It'll be all kinds of stuff, man. And we're not going to like limit the artists to what right. they want, it's their art. It's yeah. not us trying to like regulate it. 
But cool. it's like doing it through the word of God, if that makes sense. That's cool, man. Well, dude, that's awesome. Uh, if people want to help out with that, if people want to like volunteer or get involved, like how can they reach out to you or how can they reach out to true believers? Okay. Um, so, and hold on. Is this the end of the show? Towards the no, end of the show? no. Okay, I didn't like, know. I was like, okay. I was like, <laughs> okay. So I want to tell them one thing before. Okay. Yeah. No, so yeah they I, I kind of bounce all over the place. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm like, it's, See, I didn't even know, to all the people out there, I didn't know when the beginning of the show was or the end of the show was. I thought, I was like, are we starting? Are we starting? I'll let you know. Like, I typically do, like, rapid-fire questions, like, at the end of the show just to, oh, like, kind of get to know you more. Okay. So, oh, yeah. man. Nervous. Um, so if you want to get involved in this movement, like I said, probably Los Angeles is the next city with uh, Al- Alvina, the pastor of True Believers. Her yeah. brother has one of the biggest churches in uh, um where Nipsey Hussle got murdered. Like, okay. he owns a whole block for his church, and he needs some help with the kids and the youth and the urban. So... What are your thoughts on Nipsey Hussle? We'll talk about that. I want to tell him how to get involved. Okay. Quick. So here's right. how you get involved. There's two ways. You can go to truebelieversinchrist.org, and um, you we need help with getting building. We need help with funding. We need help with volunteers. We need help with whatever God puts on your heart. You come all hands on deck if it's uh if god puts on your heart help him with the kids www.purp.me that's short for purpose perp okay. me perp me www.purp.me and uh that's our instagram is perp me twitter all that stuff and you can come message us on on those websites as well that's our kids program and then that's well that's our music and art and video stuff and then that's the church man so awesome anyway they want to or just look up me on social media jason j reynolds and i'll i would love to like sit down we don't care yeah just as long as they've never heard a kid you know we'll work with them yeah if they have i mean maybe we can find something else for them to do yeah you know this we can't look down on people we just have to find a place uh the right place for them you know no judgment when i first started doing ministry i had four pending felonies and god used me yeah so if you might think, oh, there's no way I could get used by God. There's no, don't think that, man. God took those felonies away from me and, you know, he used me. So yeah. to anybody out there who's thinking, I'm not this, I'm not equipped, do not worry about, you don't have to go to school to do ministry. You can just have a heart, a servant's heart, and God will do the rest. Nice. Cool, man. All right, well, what are your thoughts on Nipsey Hussle? And then after that, what are your thoughts on Kanye West as like a Christian? I can't. I mean, dude, I don't really know too much about Nipsey yeah. other than it's sad, man. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I don't. That's sad. Is he a one. Christian? I have no clue. Okay. Okay. I don't know. All right. Well, no worries. What are your thoughts on Kanye? Well, okay. Don't judge me, man. I just bought a pair of Yeezys. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no worries. Uh, I had, uh, Yeezys are cool though. Everybody loves Yeezys. Yeah, I, I had to support my dude, especially now that 